Zoho Mail Support Simap Access, or POP protocols. You can configure the Zoho Mail account and Outlook email client via IMAP or POP. Remember POP and POP3 are the same thing. POP3 is the most recent version of POP, which stands for Post Office Protocol. The difference between IMAP and POP are the POP protocol downloads the email from a server to a single computer, then deletes the email from the server. On the other hand, IMAP stores the message on a server and synchronizes the message across multiple devices. Should you be using POP or IMAP protocol? While you configure the email into Outlook, it depends on how you want to access your emails. For example, if you have limited storage in your email, then I recommend to use the POP protocol in order to avoid maintaining the emails, such as if your storage is full, you have to take backup and delete the email to allow new email to be delivered. On the other hand, if you are using the POP protocol, once the email is downloaded into your Outlook, the emails will be deleted automatically. So users have no need to maintain the storage. Or else, if you have unlimited storage for your emails, it's better to use IMAP protocol. However this video describes how to configure Zoho Mail into Outlook, using IMAP and POP protocols. Without any ado let's start the video. Open any web browser, and search for Zoho Email. Then open the login link from the list, and log in into your Zoho Email by entering login credentials. Once the user logs into email, the web interface will appear, as you can see on my screen. To find the available memory for your email, please click on the profile icon. A side window will appear, where the user can find the available memory for the email provided by the Zoho, up on your subscription. As you can see I have only 10 GB of usable space for my email, which is already 80% used. In order to make my memory free without losing any email available in my inbox, or outbox. Here is the secret, that I should configure my Zoho email into Outlook through the POP protocol. In order to transfer all my emails from the Zoho web server to my personal computer. So let's close this window, and click on settings. A pop-up window will appear. Scroll down the menu and select Mail Account. Here users will have the pop and IMAP settings. Scroll down and enable the protocol as per your requirements in order to get the access for Outlook client in your PC. To enable it, click on the pop access checkbox and then select the below options. If the user wants to transfer all the emails from the beginning, please select all the emails or else select the email that arrived from the date. Then select Include Spam Folders. And then select Auto Delete Emails, if the user wants to delete the email automatically when it's downloaded to Outlook. If the user wants to use the IMAP protocol, please follow the steps. Enable the IMAP access by clicking on the checkbox. Then select Auto Expunge Email. If your email has two-factor authentication enabled, then you will not be able to get connection between Zoho to Outlook. The user has to create an application-specific password in order to get the access for Outlook. To create the password, please click on Learn More option. Once the user clicks on the Learn More option, it will redirect to the Zoho Mail Access setting. Scroll down and click on Zoho Accounts. Once the user clicks on the account, it will redirect to the Zoho Accounts page. Here select the security option, from the menu. Scroll down, and find the application specific password option. This password allows third party applications, like email clients to access accounts with unique passwords, instead of using your account password. As you can see on my screen, I have already created one password, let me delete this in order to generate a new one, to delete the old generated passwords, click on delete button. To generate a new password, click on generate new password, application specific password window will appear. 
Enter the application name you want to set the application-specific password. You will only be able to access this app with the configured application-specific password. Enter the name as Outlook, then click on Generate. Once the user clicks on Generate, a new password will appear on the screen. As you can see here, copy this password. For the security reasons the password will not be displayed again. Once the password is generated, it's time to configure the Outlook. To do that, go to your computer start menu, and search for the control panel. Then select the mail option, from the list. The mail setup window will appear, click on add button. Create a new profile, by entering the profile name, then click OK to continue. Once the user clicks on OK, a new pop-up window will appear for further configuration. Select Manual Setup or Additional Server Type option, then click Next. Then choose service, such as POP, or IMAP, to connect to your Zoho email. Then click on Next to continue. POP and IMAP account settings. Enter the mail server settings for your account. Enter the following details. Enter username as per your email. Then enter your Zoho email address. Then select the account type as, POP, or IMAP as per your requirements. Then enter the incoming server. If you don't know the incoming server of Zoho email, please go back to Zoho Mail Settings, and copy from here. And then paste into the Outlook setting dialog box. Then repeat the same process for outgoing server. Then enter logon information. Enter username as your email address. Then password as the newly generated password. Then select a new Outlook data file. Or else if you have any existing data file and you want to use the same, please select Second Opinion and click on More Settings. Internet Email Settings appears. Go to the Outgoing Server option, and select the checkbox, My Outgoing Server, SMTP, requires authentication and also select use same setting as my incoming mail server. Then go to advanced settings, server port numbers, copy incoming, and outgoing server port number from the Zoho page, and paste it here accordingly. Use the following type of encrypted connection, as SSL. By default, when you retrieve new messages from a POP3 email account, the messages are deleted from the POP3 mail server and then saved on the computer that you are using. Because the message is no longer on the POP3 mail server, you can't see it when you connect from another computer. If the user wants to keep the emails on the server for a few days, please select the below options, or else uncheck the box, in order to delete the email immediately from the server, once it's downloaded into Outlook. I don't want to keep any email on my server, so I will uncheck all boxes. Once all the settings are completed, please click on OK. Once the user clicks on OK, Test Account Settings window will appear. Congratulations, all tests completed successfully. If all your settings are correct, then you will have a successful connection between Zoho Email and Outlook, as you can see on my screen. Click on Close to continue. Close everything, and launch Microsoft Outlook. As you can see on my screen my email address is configured into Outlook. Once the configuration is completed, all the emails will be transferred to your Outlook. Make sure you should keep power on your computer until the process is completed. There might be a chance to block your account by Zoho, while you are transferring huge data from Zoho to Outlook. You don't need to worry, 
if your account is blocked in this process. Please send an email to Zoho Customer Service in order to unblock your and continue the transfer data. Hope you understand how to configure Zoho email into Microsoft Outlook account. Thank you for watching this video. If you need any technical support, please join our membership portal. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.